Good day. Good to see you again. Let's find ourselves. Today we're in week three of our 2022 fall meditation series with the village in Howard. We are revisiting mantras and I am Fran Dunn. Let's breathe in and breathe out and smile. We are on the third week, as I said, revisiting mantras. And we would like you to remember to register either Tuesday at 9 a.m. or Thursdays at 7 p.m. Our joke of this week is, to get you in the mood, the adult version of head, Shoulders, knees, and toes is for us. Wallet, glasses, keys, and phone. Get it? Can't tell you how many times I've sung that song with Lincoln. So today, guys, we are going to find your center with our mantras. We'll have an introduction, and Deepak Chopra will share his mantra of Sit Chat Ananda. We'll have some music and silence and our bonus music tonight is earth my body so remember let's take those three mindful breaths breathing in and out scanning your thoughts breathing in and out scan your gut breathing in and out your intentions or your compassion. And remember, this is all non-judgment. Using mantras can help to break through the subconscious barriers to evoke true positive change. So you might ask or remember, what is a mantra? And they are Sanskrit syllables carefully chosen to work with and empower the teaching of the day. You can silently repeat them to yourself and quiet your mind. And it moves you beyond thoughts to excess stillness. You experience deeper awareness and it's like a mental uh, vibration. Discover your true nature which helps your body, mind, spirit relax. It's pure potentiality and happiness. In Sanskrit, this was the ancient sacred language of Hinduism and is often used in Buddhist hymns and chants. Man means mind, tra means instrument. So it's an instrument of the mind a powerful sound or vibration to enter a deep state of meditation. It helps us disconnect from our thoughts, filling our mind and slip into a, a gap between the thoughts. So for instance, I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. I am an artist. So do you have any mantras that you use in your life that you can think of? I think mine is like, you can do it. You can do it. And I do use the Deepak Chopra one when I want to meditate. And we're going to share that today. So who is Deepak Chopra? He was born in 1946 in New Delhi, India. And he is an Indian American author who uses alternative medicine. And he's an advocate of that. He was part of the New Age movement. And really, he's the wealthiest and best known figure in alternative medicine. However, there is some controversy about him because he uses, quote unquote, quantum healing, which some say is technobabble strewn with scientific terms. He is, however, a licensed physician, 
he did do does transcendental meditation as part of that movement. And he did um, CDs with Oprah Winfrey, Mind Body Center that a couple of years ago, 10 years ago, whatever, 15, I was using and I really liked them. So the mantra I love is Soham, I am, Sat, existence, Chit, consciousness, Ananda, bliss. Soham, Sat, Chit, Ananda, Soham, Sat, Chit, Ananda. Let's listen to Deepak. Sat, Chit, Ananda. 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 So let's get the idea of what we're doing and let's begin our time of reflection. Settle your body into a comfortable position. And let's take deep breaths in and out. In and out. Relaxing our head and neck. Jaw moving down to our shoulders. Arms hands, fingers, chest, hips, thighs, calves, feet, and toes. And we're going to have a meditation read to you. That's going to from truth, consciousness, and bliss, a meditation on the Supreme Being. Satchidananda, a sacred word from the Vedas, which means truth, consciousness, and bliss. For us in the Brahma Kumaris, it is an epithet describing God, the Supreme Being. God as Satchidananda is truth, is consciousness, and is blissful. These are essential qualities of God. The Supreme Being is truth itself, is a conscious living being, and is the ocean of bliss. We can also use this to describe the soul in its perfect and ultimate reality. More than an attribute, Satchidananda is a spiritual portion for us to experience a joy beyond the senses. To experience spiritual bliss, we continually have to reflect on truth and allow it to illuminate our consciousness. Take a few moments now and step away from the world of sights and sounds. Allow yourself to become absorbed in the peace and stillness of the moment. In this moment, let's meditate on truth. You are luminous light. 
You are an eternal, beautiful, powerful being of light. Just spend a few moments allowing the reality and truth of your absolute existence to permeate your awareness. God is also an eternal luminous being of pure light. There is one main difference between the Supreme Being and us human souls. The Supreme One never takes a body, never comes into the cycle of birth and death as we do. The One always remains beyond the play of matter and duality. We enter this world and travel between happiness and sorrow, freedom and bondage, light and dark. The Supreme is eternally the ocean of peace, love, power and truth. We come from beyond this world, from a dimension of pure light and stillness. This is the home where all souls reside before they enter the theater of life. For the next few moments, let your mind reflect on these timeless concepts. Allow the soul to absorb these spiritual and real aspects of the universe. Remember the Supreme Being in the dimension of light and remember yourself as a being of luminous light. God is that being who is not just light or truth, but supreme energy of great joy and love of bliss. And the bliss of God comes because there is always an awareness of being pure consciousness and of being connected to every being and the great truth of life. Take a moment now to rest with the ocean of bliss. Allow waves of joy to wash over your mind even just for a few moments. See yourself as a spiritual being who is blissful, connected with God, the ocean of bliss. It only takes a few moments of this awareness daily to recharge and reconnect with our natural joy. Om Shanti, I am peace. Soham Chat Jit Ananda Soham Sat Jit Ananda Soham Sat Jit Ananda Soham Sat Ananda.
gently start moving your body a little, bringing your attention to your fingers, moving them slowly, body part by body part, coming out of meditation. I am positive. I am creative. I am mindful. I am amazing. I am an artist. Thank you for this time of reflection of revisiting mantras. Next week, we will be exploring loss, peace, and namaste. And we're brought back by popular demand, earth our body, water our blood, air our breath, fire our spirit. Enjoy. Oh, my.